Hello and welcome. Today we will create a new texture using the combined masses, the vertical break and the spread. Since we have already learned both masses in our previous lectures, then we can start planning the orchestral sketch. Let me share my plan for this texture. First of all, I place the melodic device in unison. I will add the bass line and the spread method under the melodic line. Some instruments will play the vertically broken chords above the melody, while some of them will double the same chords by using the spread method. Now, let's apply this plan to the orchestral paper. The melody will be taken by violas and cellos. The bass line is on the contrabasses. I will spread the low path harmony under the device and it will be played by the harp. Then, the broken harmony will be on plus and clanes and overlaid above the melody. Finally, the first and the second violins will play the spread method in the same register as the flues and clanes. The celesta will be used for the high path harmony. OK. Thus, I have chosen the following device for my melody. Violas and cellos play the melody in unison. The dynamic marking is mezzo forte. The power of the register will be 4. Now, let's make the texture. The counterbases take the bass line with the pizzicato technique. Two flues and two colonists take the broken harmony over the melody. So, let's take a closer look at what it means. For a clear understanding, I will divide the process into three steps. The first chord is C major 7. Since the C is already used in the bass, we can use just E, G and the B notes in the high path harmony. We can imagine the chord as a whole cube. As you know, this is a simple spread method that has been used in previous textures. The second step is to break the cube into several paths. This is a horizontal break method. This variant can also be used as we did before. Now let's break the chord vertically. To do this, some beats should be removed from the upper and the lower harmony. As we observed, the chord is broken both horizontally and vertically. Let's make your own. You can delete or extend any beat and change any pitch as you want. The important thing is to make an interesting accompaniment. So we have used the vertical break above the melody. The next bars are made in the same way. Always check the texture without melody and with melody. If needed, then change the pitch or beats. Now is the time to fill the space under the melody. I'm going to spread the four-part harmony. 
You can write three part, five part, or six part harmony, depending on your choice. As you know, in the spread method, the chord can be used at any bit of the bar. You can use it wherever you want, depending on your composition. The important thing to consider when writing a hard part is the correct setting of the pedal mechanism. So here's my chord progression. I'm going to check which notes remain unchanged and which are altered in the entire score. The B, C, and D notes always remain unchanged. The E, G, and the A flat also remain unchanged. But in the fourth bar, the F is presented as an F natural, while in the fifth bar, it's an F sharp. As you know, the harp strings are not tuned chromatically. There are no two different strings, F and F sharp. So the player must tune the F string to F sharp before the fifth bar. Since there is free time between the fourth and the fifth bar, the player easily can change the pitch before playing. Thus, in the first four bars, the pedal will be displayed as follow. But at the beginning of the fifth bar, the F should be altered with an F sharp. There is no need to add a new pedal diagram as only one note changes. It will be enough to mark only the F sharp before the fifth bar. Ok, let's check how it sounds. Now I'm going to add the spread masses to the break method. Both masses are over the melody. So the first and the second violins will play the four part harmony with the tremolo technique. Your chord progression can be used with the staccato, portato or maybe pizzicato and etc. For this ones I chose the tremolo effect. Except for the violins, all instruments are written at mezzo forte, because I wanted to hear the accompaniment loudly as well as the melody. Violins are marked with a piano, otherwise they will dominate the melody and woodwinds due to their sustained sound. Now they sound like echo in the background. <laughs> Finally, the celesta will be used for the high part harmony. It sounds an octave higher than rhythm.
So we have done the texture and learned how to use the vertical break method in a small ensemble. Let's make your own texture following this plan. In future textures, I will explain the use of vertical breaks in the full brass and the string sections. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.